What is up, Karatics? In this video, we're going to be doing the durability test of the Rhino tank against the Kanjali tank, which is the new one introduced in the Doomsday Heist DLC. This one right now is fully upgraded, 100% armor, railgun, tank cannon, all the good stuff. So right now, what we're going to do first is the head-on collision test, followed by a push test for torque-to-weight ratio, and then... We are going to have uh, RPG shots to see how many rounds each one can survive, followed by homing launcher rounds. And then we're, at the very end, we're going to have a shootout against both cannons and the armor of the each one to see which one explodes first. Alright, so first up, the head-on collision test. Here we go. Ooh, I think the right will take one there. Alright, now we're gonna do the push test for, for, for torque to weight ratio. Alright, here we go. Oh! Kanjali's taking it! Kanjali's got it! Alright, let's do one more just in case. Alright. Oh yeah, the Kanjali's got more torque. I guess it's from the maybe the turbo upgrades or the speed upgrades. Awesome. Alright, so first up we're gonna be using the RPG for the explosive test. We got Eat up in there. Alright, here we go. RPG. Alright, so we started off with 20, we have 16 left, so that was exactly 4 explosives. Alright, we got Eat up in there. Do the RPG, starting off with 16 rounds. There we go. Wow. Eight explosives. So the Rhino tank was four, and Kanjali is literally double. They survived double the explosives. So four versus eight. That is absolutely insane. Very crazy. My goodness. All right, now we're going to do the same exact test, but with homing missiles. We have to start off with ten right there. All right, let's see. All right, so that's the exact same amount. Homing missiles and RPG missiles, the exact same amount. So a homing launcher again, but against the Kanjali. We started off with 10 and we have two left. So eight, that's the exact same amount that we did with the RPG. So homing launchers and RPGs against the tanks with someone inside of it have the exact so have the exact same explosives. Alright, so now for the best part, we are going to use the railgun cannon on the Kanjali. We're not gonna charge it, we're just gonna spam it. So it can compete with the Rhino tank. The Rhino tank's gonna be spamming also. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Wow. No competition whatsoever. That is absolutely crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. 
And this thing is still going. Not even smoking at all. That is absolutely crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the durability test of the Kanjali tank against the classic old Rhino tank. This thing, I mean, it really is two times as better. <laughs> like, it, it's... It really is. I mean, it can survive double the explosives. It's... It's, I mean, it's almost twice as fast. It's got really good acceleration with the upgrades. I mean, I guess it's somewhat expensive. It's also double the price. Well, a little bit more than double the price. But in reality, it's just a better all-around tank, especially since in the Rhino tank, it's only a one-seater. In this thing, you can sit people in the very back. Those little doors open like a van. And you can, people can go back there and then use the grenade launchers on the sides. And then in the passenger side, from the, from the front right up here, someone else could use the machine gun that's on top. So you literally have four people on this thing just causing absolute chaos from every direction. So, I mean, it's really, really cool the way this thing works. And the fact that it can survive, well, it takes eight explosives to blow it up, and really does make it worth it. So I do recommend the Kanjali if you're in free mode a lot doing combat and stuff like that. It is a very, very useful vehicle uh, one of the I think one of the best ones from the DLC in my opinion and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one